Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Hold the Ball HTB. Yes, I brought back the uh, the Fluoro Ball, but look, I hope you guys are well. Thanks again for tuning in. Yes, this is the uh, round eight tips, right? Um, it's been a while since I've done this. I've normally done it in the last couple of weeks anyway on my uh, Ball and All chat channel. Um, so I'm hoping to uh, basically Im implement this on a week-to-week -week basis. We'll see how we go. But in saying that, look, uh, I'm looking forward to it. So um, yeah, without further ado, hit that intro. guys here we go round eight is upon us right two more weeks till magic round and i'll be there so i hope to see you there as well we'll, we'll dive into it and i'll give you guys my htv guarantee at the end so the first game sees the broncos against the sharks look um i guess uh, I, I also call this game here the uh, the center challenge if you guys were not aware got stags and uh you know sort of uh laid the challenge um more so to that guy he said that he's the better player and he could definitely you know uh man up on him that's one try a piece uh, this game here to me is going to be a very physical contest with Payne Haas in the, in, in the mix as well. Obviously you've got Reynolds against Hines as well. So again, it's just a more fluid sort of a game for me. It is at home too for the Broncos. But yeah, looking at this uh, game here, considering how both teams have been going, obviously both coming from wins. Look, I'm probably going to have to give this one here to the Sharks. I still think though that they'll be too strong at the end. You've got the likes of Toby Rudolph, you know, Finucan as well. McInnes, again, just some of their decent players, right, um, who will be in the mix there, and, and I don't even touch on their backs, right, Kador, Kennedy, so on and so forth, the Sharks will be very, very strong, but uh, in saying that, just 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 look out for Talakai and that Stags battle, I think that'll be one to watch, but look, in saying that, obviously, with uh, the Broncos, you've got a few of their good players there as well, in the mix there, it's going to be an interesting game, I think, anyway, but uh, look, yeah, like I said, Sharks for me. Game 2 sees the Titans against the Penrith Panthers in a game that I've called Swords and Claws for obvious reason. Look, the Titans obviously going to try and, uh, you know, forget about the game they had against uh, the Cowboys and the Panthers while forever steaming and rolling, aren't they really? Yeah, even against the Raiders. So this game here is going to be a home game here for the Titans. Should be very up for this game. You have the likes of Faso Maliawi, Fifita as well, playing uh, AJ Brimson as well, you know, at fullback. Uh, but the Panthers, again, you know, still with a strong squad. Cleary, Yo, uh, James Fisher-Harris, Luai, um, Taylor, you know, May, you've, uh, Edwards. You know what I mean? The, the, the more names you name, probably the more hard you think it is for the Titans to win this one. Look, um, I think it'll be a very spirited battle from the Titans, personally. I think it'll be a close game, but I think the Panthers will still somehow edge this one out. But I insane that look for Fifita, uh, Faso Maliawi, for Tueka to perform, even AJ Brimson in the back. But for Panthers, look for Cleary to, uh, you know, steer that ship as he always does. But for me, Panthers. Game 3 sees the Rabbitohs against Manly. And uh, funny enough, both these teams have lost their prior games. This game here, I've called Lock and Load. Because you've got um, Jack Javovic, obviously, you know, facing up against uh, Murray there. Now, this battle here looks to be a very good and physical battle. They've got, you know, the house pairing foreign and DCE. Schuster does also return, but is on the reserves. Again, just, yeah, Cody Walker leading in there. Havili's back too, I believe, in the reserves. It's going to be a very tough game for either team. I'm not too sure how this one here swings. Um, granted, you probably say that Manly are probably the better team on form, but again, it just doesn't matter here, does it? But looking at this game here, I think I'm going to have to tip... I think I'm going to give this one here to... Um, I don't know, I just think I'm going to give this one here to Manly. I think they can do enough to upset the other uh, Rabbitohs here. So, yeah, bear with me, but I think Manly here for this one. Four, right? Sees the uh, Warriors hosting the Raiders, but I'm not going to say anything there yet. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to leave this one here for a preview. So, again, um, please feel free to jump on my next video and, um, yeah, watch out for that one there as I give you guys my thoughts. It's a more in-depth analysis as well. Uh, and uh, when I, uh, yeah, when I post it up. Game number five sees the Bulldogs against the Roosters in a game that I've called No Bark. Um, I think this goes without saying, right? Though you've got the likes of Josh Adokar, Burton, Vaughan, Bungai Jr., Roosters, you know, they lost that game against the Dragons, and I think they're going to be ready to really go with this one here. I see them playing probably almost their best footy to date, um, unfortunately, just against the Bulldogs there. But in saying that, look, the Bulldogs, they've had some bite. Obviously, Adokar scoring two tries against the Broncos. But uh, it's just, this team here for me is just not... Yeah, they seem to be going downward um, very fast. And uh, look for this one here, the conclusion to me. Roosters 6 sees the Eels against the Cowboys in a game that I've called Good Wins. 
must come to an end. That's right, both these teams here were on the, uh, you know, the other end of good wins against their uh, opponents. Um, Eels on the Knights and Cowboys on the Titans. But uh, this game here is a home game here for the Eels. I think this game will be a, uh, this game here will be a very, very physical contest. Nanai against um, Papali. And then obviously you've can you you've got the uh, locks battle as well there with Taumalolo. And then he's going to be playing up against um, Brown there. Yeah, this game here is going to be good. You know, you got the backs there, the forwards there, the, the halves. I mean, look for players like, you know, obviously Mitch Moses, you know, Brown there as well to do something for the Cowboys. Townsend, right? Um, you got the likes of Felt, experience there. Domolo is a, you know, is, is what keeps saying on a regular basis. Um, this game here will be a physical encounter, and I do believe will be one in the forward pack. However, I think in this game here, I think I'm going to, have to give this one here home advantage to the Eels. That's for me. Game seven sees the Knights against the Storm in a game that I've called Stormy Knight. That's Knight with a K there. I'm not sure what needs to be said about this game here. Obviously, the Storm uh, coming off a a very good one against the Warriors, to say the least. And the Knights, well, yeah, on the other end of a beating against the Eels. Um, one team seems disorganized. The other team is obviously ready to uh, try and fight for a premiership. Uh, I'm not too sure what needs to be said here. Um, basically, a repeat of, of almost their team against the Warriors, the Storm, and the Knights, well, yeah, again, the likes of Ponga and so on and so forth. But you're versing the Storm there. Uh, for me, Storm. Last game of the round, Dragons against the Tigers in the game that I've called the unexpected match to watch. That's right. A few uh, a few weeks ago, this game wouldn't have even probably been in our calendar, bar the actual fans of support them. But now I think this game needs a bit of our respect, right? You've got the Dragons who had a good win against the Roosters, and you've got the Tigers who had two good wins, right? Over the uh, the Eels and the Rabbitohs back-to-back. Um, honestly, uh, if you're a tipster and you haven't tipped the Tigers, you might be inclined to do so now um it is a home game though for the dragons um this game here is going to actually probably going to be the tightest game of the round i think my hcb guarantee will be coming out of this match here we'll see what happens but uh look for me i'm going to be giving this one here to the um oh, look i've got to give this one here to the dragons i think uh, the home advantage here is the only reason why i'm going to pull for him here but i'm saying that don't be surprised if the tigers do win this however i'm going to be holding on the dragons there all right guys so those are my tips there um tell me your thoughts on him did you like him did you not like him do you agree do you disagree tell me your thoughts it is just more like a quick winded sort of a tip uh video for this one here i think i'll make mine just more quicker as opposed to a a long strung up one like i have before in the past but uh, in saying that tell me your thoughts for sure i'd love to hear you all right it's the htv guarantee you guys ready all right the htv guarantee is eels to beat the cowboys that's right the, H the htb guarantee is the eels to beat the cowboys there you go well look insane i've had fun hope you have had uh, fun too take it easy see you guys next time good luck to your teams unless you're a raiders fan but i uh, insane that take it easy see you guys next time and just remember hold the ball